What's going on everyone and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Welcome to some Kyrex Street for today's video. And I wanted to make this one specifically because they have updated the game. They've changed a bunch of things with this game. And all for the better by the looks of it. There's no thing in this game. It's all improvements. And it's all slight changes when it comes to the old money system. Like, it's just... It, it, they have just straight up approved the game. Let me get the actual list up on the screen so you guys can see exactly what I'm going to be talking about. So I'll start off by talking about the AI in this game, which I will do a race in a little bit, just so you guys can see. Right now I'm doing a bunch of drift events on this Savage Club area, which is just me kind of driving around. So you saw that the amount of money that I was going to get for this was going to be like 13k, which I don't think would have been the thing before. I really want to go back to some of the older races, which I know exactly how much I was going to get for them because some of these are obviously brand new which i just started like uh yesterday which is after the update so these drift events that i'm doing right now this is part of like i said the savage uh i guess playlist of events that we get to do savage club and uh, this one doesn't really have any ai in it so this isn't really the best the best showcase of this but uh what you saw with the money is that there is actually an increase in the amount that you actually get now from races slight increase but it is an increase. Also, a few things have gotten cheaper. And hopefully, that should help with people trying to build cars and, you know, just, just in general with the economy. But the thing is that they haven't increased them by much. Like, they didn't make it so the game is now just, you know, handing you money everywhere. Or it's not like... It's, it's not like just throwing so much money at you after each event. You're kind of just still getting money that you earn. But it's just... Tiny, tiny bit more. Just a tiny bit. Not enough, like I said, to break the economy of this game or make it seem as if it's just throwing money at you, but it's just just a tiny bit more. Because right now, I've noticed since yesterday, I made a whole video on uh, on me building this car up, and I've added so many different types of parts. Literally hundreds of thousands of credits of parts on this thing, and I'm still up at around like 600k. Also this. Watch this. They've changed that where after each event you could skip stuff so quickly where i wasn't able to before i don't think I, I think every single time i had to wait for a little a like press a to continue at the bottom of my screen and it would load really slowly but now i can just spam the button and i can get through it instantly okay cool well i want to try like i said to show you guys the uh, the credit amounts that you get for some of these so these races here i'm getting eleven thousand. 11,000, 11,000. There was one up there, that one I was like 13,000. But you can see, you can see some of these events that, that we, uh, that we have on the map here. There's 11,000, there's 13,000 for this one. So these are all just regular events. And if I go over to the box delivery service, for example, you can see that the middle one is now 18,000, and this was 6,000. Uh, if I go to the car delivery system, 5,000, 15,000. I think it's just ever so slightly more. Than what it was before. Uh, I kind of want to go back to this one because this one I remember every single race uh, that I was at now, especially at 12 and at 19, I'm pretty sure was giving me about 6,000 per race. So I want to see how much has that actually changed um, for that. So I need to hop back off all the way down here, fast travel to this because it's free. Swap over to the Miata that I used to enter that, that, that whole club series and I want to see exactly how, uh, how much money am I getting paid for that. Because, like I said, I think they've only raised it for, like, a tiny bit. So, not even, like, much, but just a tiny bit. Yeah, a grand. Literally an extra grand for this. And it's genuinely noticeable. There's, like, a noticeable difference when it comes to when it comes to these races. Like, instead of doing... Like, when you're doing, what, 19 races, and let's say they've gone up by, what, like, what, 20%? The amount or or they've gone up by what like let's say an extra thousand for for the credits but look at the xp that you get by the way before this used to give me 15 xp now it's getting giving me 150 xp so even leveling up um every single like not every time you do it but leveling up just gives you so much more um money anyway because you keep going up every time in a level and you get an extra like 15k or whatever it is that you get now just for leveling up now, the reason why I want to do a race here is because the AI before was an actual mess. Not only just the street AI, but also the AI that you're you're driving against, like these guys. And I remember driving against them that I had to start a race so many times. I've even said it 
in one of my videos when I was talking about the economy of this game. Uh, I think it was in pros and cons video. Or no, sorry, it was it was about the money aspect of this game. And uh, these guys apparently were terrible. And I and I even in that one, I had I had one of the AIs just smash into me. I'm pretty sure. But not only have they changed that, but they have just changed the AI of the traffic as well slightly. I'm so bad at this game. I was paying attention. But yeah, these guys that I'm driving up against right now, they basically drive on a specific path, right? They, they'll have like a different a different path, obviously, to the driving line. You can see them. But they'll still have a very specific path on which way and where to drive and stuff like that. But I also think they have like some sort of an aggression level because sometimes they will smack into you, sometimes they will avoid you and stuff like that. It's just, it's just, it's just weird. But they have, by the looks of things, changed this so it's not as difficult to beat them. Because before, I remember there used to be a there used to be a point in this in this game where I, I generally couldn't beat some of the racers in this game, and I had a more powerful car. But you can see now, they made them, okay, <laughs> they made them quite beatable. Like, you, you can genuinely just do one of these events, and even if you start at the back, I think it's just the, the way the rubber banding works in this game, I think they changed it slightly, so... The, the drivers or the AI that you're racing against are a lot more are a lot more a lot more easier to beat but the thing is you can see all of my stuff sorry <laughs> you can see all of my stuff that I've, I've actually upgraded pretty much all of my cars so every single one of them has racing plus when it comes to the actual tires which before I didn't I remember I used to under, uh, understeer everywhere in every single car and I was like, surely this isn't how these cars are supposed to drive. And yeah, once you approve the tires, they actually have a lot more grip and you can you can drive around quite a lot quicker in, in a lot of the corners. And uh, yeah, speaking of the tires, they've actually made the tires cheaper as well. So I think they were worth about 15 grand for the Racing Plus tires. They're, no, they're now worth, I think, like 11 grand. So they haven't messed with the game drastically. So they haven't made it as if everything just gets given out very, very easy. And it doesn't get given out, like, just instantly. That's so sick, the way I can just skip through that so quickly. Because obviously you see that every single time you complete a race. But I also want to go to the petrol station so you guys can see what I'm talking about with the tires. Apparently they made fuel cheaper, reduced the consumption of the stock fuel. Uh, which they haven't really, because this was 25 still. They have done it in a previous update, but I don't think they've done it here. Regardless, uh, if you go to tires, you can see what they cost now. They're ten thousand seven hundred. I'm pretty sure before these were like fifteen grand, if I if I remember correctly. Um, but yeah, like I said, they have changed quite a bit with this game. I'll tell you exactly in a line, but th these are this is what's most notable to me as I'm playing this game and progressing through through the game. So they increased the cost. Sorry, they reduced the cost of visual parts. They reduce the cost of reinstalling parts, which is very, very good. Because obviously, if you own the part, I remember you were able to to go and change to something else, and then once you changed it back, it was like three grand or something like that. It was just something very expensive. Uh, it also removed the cost from the dyno stand, ex except for parameters that allow for extra upgrade of the component. That's cool. So whenever you go and you uh, change, let's say, suspension setup, if you uh, where to have like negative seven degrees camber on the front. Which I could just do this as well in the game. And I can show you. Uh, if let's say you have seven degrees of camber on the front, right? And then you decide, oh, I'm not going to have that anymore. I'm going to go to uh, five degrees of camber. Uh, the game will charge you for it, right? That's, that's fine. But then let's say if later on you wanted to come back and you wanted to do... So here, for example, if I do this... Because I have this unlocked, as you can see, it doesn't actually cost me anything. So what I, what I was saying before is, I used if you run like let's say negative seven degrees of camber or whatever it is here, um, if later on you wanted to come back and you wanted to change to negative six, it would charge you money for it, even though you have these parts and you 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 are able to adjust them and stuff like that. It would genuinely just charge you money for doing from going from this to this, right? Every single time. You go into this and you wanted to change your 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 your, your tune and anything on on any of your cars uh so that's 
quite a lot better now <laughs> instead of you getting charged every single time for that it's uh it's much better that you do obviously just don't you know because there's no point it's it's your part you already bought it you should just be able to change it anyway they ended up increasing the rewards for completing clubs so you get a little bit more money for completing a whole club uh, if i hover over them you'll be able to see the amount of money that you get for each one of them so if i go over to this one that i've completed it's 50k uh, for this union one that I have now is also 50k. For the one that I'm part of, the the street hunters one was 100k. The is it which one is it? Where's it? Oh yeah, the savage drift one that I'm doing right now in the E39, 125k for completing the club. And the 25 gold coins, whatever that is, gold dollars. Um, they also increased the rewards for uh, completing elite races. They also uh, increased the rewards for completing club races. So all these separate ones, like I said before, these I think were about five or six k. The last time when I was in, when I, when I was doing these, so obviously they've gone up slightly. Like I said, they haven't like added an extra zero, for example, to make the, the economy absolutely broken. It's just an extra like grand or two grand. It's just so little where it's just noticeable enough, but it's not game breaking if that makes sense. They also reduced the cooldown timers for elite races, which I have noticed. They increased the experience gained from completing club races, which as you can see now, this was, uh, I think, 15 before, and now it's 150, so they basically just added an extra zero to the end of it, which is cool. You get to level up faster, you get to unlock the things that you want to unlock in the game, right? You get to actually play with the stuff in the game, it doesn't take you uh, actual months to be able to unlock the, you know, C5, C6, C whatever cards, because... I'm pretty sure at this rate, the way we're playing right now, uh, or the way we were playing before, if you wanted, I, I think you were able to complete pretty much every single event before actually being able to progress to the next part, if that makes sense. So right now I'm doing a bunch of C1 races with this with this Mazda, and I'm pretty sure after I completed all the C1 uh, and C3 events, I don't think I would have unlocked cars for c4 for example because that's how i started off i did this and i immediately went to the c3 because i wanted more money but i don't think you'll be able to unlock uh the c4 or c5 cars by the time you finish all these events this was before the this upgrade or this update but i'm pretty sure now you can um and you can progress you can do c4 and then c5 c6 races whatever because you'll, you'll be able to get to them quite a bit quicker and then reduce the cost of racing plus tires and stock fuel which i have said improvements they added a window displaying the car class in the engine upgrade section of the dyno stand which i don't remember that missing but i guess it's there now um they expanded the range of volume adjustments for the engine and tire sounds which i haven't actually taken a look at so let's have a quick look at that real quick so you have your master you have your music environment dialogue effects engine tires and ui uh i'm guessing this was different and it wasn't the exact same as this so, this probably slightly changed, so there was probably less to choose from here. Uh, they simplified, simplified the intro quest, fair enough, uh, which obviously I can't tell now because we've gone way past it. They improved the display of the ideal trajectory and braking zones in races. This was noticeable, very, very noticeable. So when you're doing races and you obviously have the braking line on, it's so noticeable <laughs> because before I remember... I even said in this game that the actual braking line does not match up with what the car is actually doing, right? So I end up, the braking line will pop up and I was like, okay, cool, I have to brake now. Yeah, I probably should have braked about 100 meters before that. That's, that's how bad it was. So you'll see now when it comes to this corner. <laughs> Improved AI, eh? Comes to this corner, brake. Oh, look at that. It's spot on. It actually, I am braking when the thing starts turning red, which is what it should be like, right? It shouldn't be I brake before the thing starts turning red or else it's over. Because that doesn't then help me with, with what I should be braking. In some places, this still does want to tell you to slow down or at least lift off. Oh, this is a sprint race. I didn't realize. I thought this was a, a lap race. I'm just NOS ahead. That was an easy race. But basically... I love this whole skipping thing, man. It's so good. Uh, but basically, now it's improved and it's a lot easier to just to just go through uh, through corners because you know what's going on. You know when you need to start breaking. Um, they also then improved the English voiceover of the game, which is cool, I guess. Uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of these are AI anyway, so it doesn't really make 
that much of a difference. I mean, for people that actually do care about the story, that's that's up to them. Um, they then, if we go to bug fixes, they fix the bug with the icons on the global map. I don't know what bug there was, but apparently there was some sort of a bug with this. Fix the behavior of smoke when cars move in a straight line. Okay, so they just changed the way the smoke works slightly. Improved the smoke system, that's what it says. Added idle animation for the car pilot. So what does that mean? So if I stand completely still, is he gonna like start doing something? I don't know, he's not doing anything. So I, I don't know what's going on. Apparently they also fix a bug with the driver's hand, so. Is it when he's changing gears or what's the deal here? I don't, I don't really know. I don't know what bug they're talking about because I haven't really experienced it. It does change his gears quite nicely. Puts his hand down when there's a handbrake being pulled. Oh yeah, he grabs onto the wheel and he like... Oh yeah, because there's like proper rotation in this, isn't it? In this game. I forgot. Yeah, there's like proper rotation with the wheel in this game. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. And then lastly, uh, they added a whole thing where it says, Additionally, we'd like to point out that we are working on improving security of the game and we are noticing all cases of cheating and modding in game data. So if you've been modding money into this game, uh, I don't know if you're going to get banned or anything, but you're screwed. They're, they're definitely going to be removing and at the, they said they are monitoring. So, uh, and they're working on improving the security, but they... Uh, they, they do know. If you've been cheating money into this game, they, then they know that you have been doing it. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen to you, if anything. But, uh, yeah. Obviously, maybe keep an eye out for that and, you know, stop doing it. I guess. <laughs> Just try to play the game. But that's pretty much it. The 1.03 update has changed quite a lot in very small increments where it's, it's genuinely noticeable that they have changed it. But it's not enough for them to break the game and make, for example, like absolutely ruin the economy or, or, or anything like that. They've just made it so it's quite a lot more playable and you can progress through the game at a nice and steady pace. For people that were saying in the comments of my video where um, I was talking about the money where it's just basically once you get to a certain point after doing all these races where the fastest way to get money was driving up and down the highway multiple times, it, it would get very boring if that was the only way you can get money, like, properly, right? So, I'm kind of happy that they've done this update. And, like I said, in, the, in that video, people were saying, it's like, oh, if you don't like the economy, why don't you just go play Forza, where they, add, where they just throw money at you. I literally said in the video that I preferred this method of money uh, getting, like, it, of earning money, instead of Forza, where they just kind of give you stuff straight off the bat, and they constantly keep throwing money at you. I definitely prefer this method, but... They made it now where, like I said, it's quite a lot more manageable and quite a lot more fun to play because it just feels like you are earning money instead of, you know, just playing for basically free up to a certain extent. Can I still do more to improve? 100%. I still think that the, the AI is still a bit dopey. Um, I think they, they, they can still work on the AI a little bit, especially these guys that you're racing against right now. Um, it's uh, it's a little bit weird. You can still see them crashing into walls and stuff like that. But with the whole difficulty change, you can see that I can now stay ahead confidently if I'm driving well enough. Um, whereas before, I did have so many situations where I would uh, I just wouldn't be able to, to overtake any of the AI at all. Like it was just completely impossible, and my car was you know more powerful or it was better class than uh, than the AI, and I just wasn't able to win. So. Again, I think the changes are very much welcome. They're noticeable, but not insane, or they, they haven't broken the game or anything like that. So, like I said, I'm, I'm very, very welcoming with these changes. Let me know what you guys think of them, and let me know if uh, you agree with these changes or you disagree. Maybe you prefer the old money system, or maybe you uh, you just didn't really care, and it's not very noticeable. Maybe you're just still doing the same thing, or driving up and down the highway or whatever. Maybe you're still doing the same old, same old. So... It's up to you guys, but I now I'm noticing my money go up a little bit quicker. I'm I'm staying at around like 600k constantly, um, and it's not taking me a long time to get back up there after I go down because, like I said, I have made a video of me drifting with a wheel, 
and I've upgraded and to and like just done a bunch of stuff to my E39 uh, 5 series that I was driving here and I this is the one that I drove for uh, on the wheel and it's noticeable how much money I spent I spent like a couple a couple hundred grand just upgrading suspension parts and stuff like that with this car and then obviously now I just got it back again by just maybe playing for like another hour or so which is very very useful anyway that's pretty much it Thank you for watching everybody, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you want to see more videos like this on the channel, then of course subscribe as usual. Uh, and yeah, make sure you uh, keep up to date with any of the, uh, any of the content that I'm, uh, uppl I'm uploading on this game and, and of course other games as well. Because you're going to be seeing quite a lot of, uh, of other games as well. But yeah, that's it. I guess I'll see you guys in, in the next video. Thank you for watching everyone and uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe as well if you're new and you enjoy this type of content. But yeah, like I said, I'll see you guys very soon again. Goodbye.